Welcome to what is School of Languages. In the previous video, I brought you the intro of this book, as well as the table of contents. Today's lesson, we are going to have a look at articles, French articles, let's article. First, we are going to study the objectives of the lesson. Les objectifs. À la fin de cette leçon, l'élève sera en mesure d'identifier les articles définis, identifier les articles indéfinis et d'identifier les articles partitifs. Commençons par les articles définis. We are beginning with the definite articles. Le, la, les, a L apostrophe. What is a definite article? Definite article is a word used to define a specific object or person. An article defini, a term utilized for for definir an object specific or une person specific. In English, there's only one way of defining it. That's there. But in French, unfortunately for us, there are four ways of saying there. Let's have a look at them. Le. Le is used for masculine noun. It's referred to a noun which is masculine singular. Every article agrees in gender and number with the noun it defines. Examples, le vélo, the bicycle, le stylo, the pen. All this that you are seeing now is also in your book. So when you get the year seven book, you, as you read, you follow the video and you do the activities in the book. B, la. La is used for feminine noun. It's used in front of a feminine word. Example, la table, the table, la chaise, the chair. L apostrophe. It for noun beginning with a vowel or an H, silent H, regardless of its gender. Examples. La, you can see the word arbre. Arbre begins with a vowel. It doesn't matter whether arbre is masculine or feminine. But what is most important here is the beginning of the word. L'hôpital, the hospital. You can see we have a silent H that begins the word. Therefore, we need to use an apostrophe. L'école, the school, is the same thing here. So in these three examples, two of them start with a vowel, and another one, the third one, start with a silent H. So it shows clearly that the L apostrophe is used for words that begins with a vowel or a silent H. Let's see. These words begin with a vowel, or an H, but they still have a gender. Here, the gender does not count much. As I said earlier, the gender does not count in this one, but they still have a gender. You see the agenda when you put, you change the definite article with a, an indefinite article, then you see the agenda. But so far as we are dealing with definite article, you will not see the agenda here. And it, it does not count. It's only the beginning of the word that counts. So henceforth, if you want to use the uh, L apostrophe with the words, only check the beginning of the word. If the word begins with a vowel in a singular form, no problem about it. De, le, so. le is used for plural noun, regardless of its gender. Le is used for plural noun, regardless of its gender. Example, le table, the tables, le chaise, the chairs, les arbres, 
the trees. You can see that R begins with a vowel, but it doesn't matter here. Since it is in plural form, and we are to use a definite article, supposed to be le, not le. Remember, we use la in singular, but when it is in plural form, it is les arbres. You shouldn't put L apostrophe with S. Like in the singular form, you say la, the previous example. But here we are talking in plural form. So plural form, the L apostrophe changes into L-E-S. Lezard, and you read it lezard. Since R begins with a vowel, you change the pronunciation of the S to be Z, Z, and you join the two words, le and R, to say lezard. Is that clear? All right, let's continue. How to tell if a word is feminine or masculine? How to tell if a verb is a feminine or masculine? How hard to know? how to recognize. 75% of the time, words which ends in E are feminine. 75%, even more than. Some words that end in E are feminine, are likely to be feminine. It's not all, that's why we give a percentage. Then you cannot calculate the percentage to know maybe there are 20 words or 100 words. What you need to do is to practice them by reading them, by searching for their meaning from English to French. The majority of the times, words which end in I O N, ion in French, are feminine. Majority. Examples La nature. La bouteille, la tasse, la nation, l'organisation. You can see here that organisation begins with a vowel and ends in I O N. Per the rule that we just read, this word is a feminine one. But with la nation, la tasse, you can see clearly that they are feminine. So if a word begins with L apostrophe and the words added to the word and it ends in I-O-N, it means that word is feminine. That's what you should note here. Examples again. Now that do not end in an E are more likely to be masculine, are more likely to be masculine, but not all of them. Examples. L'hôpital, it does not end in E. He's more likely to be masculine. Le croissant, it ends with a consonant. It is masculine. Le bateau, it does not end in E. It's a masculine. Le nettoyage, l'été, l'organisme. Have you seen? All right. There are a lot of them, such as word in age, A G E, like nettoyage, or ism, like l'organisme. These words, the best way to know whether a noun is masculine or feminine is to learn the gender with the noun together at the same time. If you want to know that the noun is masculine or feminine, you add the article so that you may understand it better. Instead of learning the words alone. Let's practice and see. La feuille, we are reading. Le journal, le cahier, l'équitation. Les étés, la maison. La lampe, la chaise. Le pain, le fourchette. Now let's go and put the article or outline the article. So we are going to circle the article for you to know. We have la, le, les, la, le, le, 
L apostrophe, la, le. So here, these are the articles. Okay. Now let's get this note. Words like journal. You don't say journal. You say journal. Journal is little bit like words ending in a g e ash ash e r are masculine words. We are telling you that word like journal. You can see the journal newspaper. A word like this, or a word that ends in a l or ash a g e a g e s with this one e with accent grave g e e that is i l and a l where that ends in these ones are masculine words. Have you gotten it? All right. You need to know the gender because everything that follows has to agree with gender like identity. Now, let's quickly practice this one in activity. Write le, la, l apostrophe, le before the following noun. Ottenel est plus sérieux en français à Golden Summit. Ottenel est plus sérieux en français à Golden Summit. Bonjour, je suis directrice de Happy Home International School. Je vais à l'hôpital. Je vais à l'hôpital. Je veux voir... Je veux voir Berger de ce champ. Mon oncle est chef de notre village. Donne-moi de à boire. C'est reine de chez nous. These are seven sentences. We are going to put in the correct definite article. And the definite article have been given to us on, in the instruction. Le, la, l apostrophe, et le. So let's start. Otinel is a masculine name. And looking at the adjective sérieux, sérieux is masculine, masculine singular. So therefore, we are going to use a masculine singular definite article. So you say, Otinel, yes. Can you put it? Otinel est. Good. Le plus sérieux en français à Golden Sunday. Outine is the most serious in French at Golden Sunday. Bonjour, je suis. Let's look at the word directrice. Directrice is a feminine word. It has a feminine gender. And we will study that all feminine words go with the article la, the definite article la. Therefore, this particular one, the answer here is la. Bonjour, je suis la directrice de Happy Home International School. Good morning. I am the director of Happy Home International School. In this case, it is a woman who is talking here. All right. The third one. Je vais hôpital. Clearly, we learned that words that begin with L silent or silent H is accompanied by a definite article L apostrophe. And you see hôpital clearly begins with silent H. So we are going to put there L apostrophe. Je vais à l'hôpital. I am going to the hospital. Number four. Je veux voir Berger de Suchamp. Berger is a 
masculine singular word. Therefore, we say, je veux voir le berger de ce champ. Mon nom est chef de notre village. Chef is masculine singular, which means chief. So, mon nom est le chef de notre village. Donne-moi de eau à boire. Per our studies, the rule for an, a definite article to be chosen here depends on the beginning of the word to see whether it is vowel or consonant or vowel or silent H. Here we have a vowel. Therefore, we are going to use L apostrophe by saying, don't want the low à boire. Please get me this one. C'est reine de chez nous. We say that most of the times, French men that end in E are feminine, but not all of them. As you don't know, you've never met this word. Ren means queen mother. So here, Ren is a, yes, masculine or feminine, great feminine word. Therefore, we are going to use la. So, c'est la reine mère de chez nous. Clearly, you could notice that the article le was not selected here. It's just to tell you that it is not a lottery. If they give you some provided answers or they provide some answers for you, it doesn't mean that it is compulsory that you use all of them. And the article, the selection of the article, it based on the word that follow the article. So that word can either begin with a vowel or a consonant. That word can be in plural form. That word can begin with a silent H. That word can be masculine or feminine. So you need to know it before you select the definite article. All right, do you have a question? Okay, if you have a question, you may think about it. Go down the video. There's a space provided for you, title, question section. Just drop your question, click on reply via email and submit. As soon as I receive it, there will be a team to assist you. I would like to say very big thank you for taking part in today's class. In the next lesson, we are going to study the indefinite articles. Les articles indefinis. What are the articles indefinis? What are indefinite articles in French? Watch out. That's why I need you to be there in the next class. Or better say, watch the next video. Thank you very much. See you. Bye-bye. Au revoir. A bientôt.